We got Peach Fuzz and Hunger and Spirit here. Game and watch against Fox. Okay. Different character for Evie. Uh, classic Smash 4 character for Zyro. Mm -hmm. now Fox, he's 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 odd, right? C compared to his Smash 4 counterpart. Because, like, they changed him up quite a bit. Mm -hmm. To the point where, like, the top Fox player in Smash 4, Larry Lure, doesn't like him in this game. But he's still, like, a top tier. It's interesting how they can do that. Yeah, it kind of sucks for him specifically. Yeah. I like Larry's Fox, but his wolf's pretty nice. It is. All nice right. pressure here. Ooh, we got that. Ooh. The forward smash looks like a crack shoot, but <laughs> <laughs> it's it's cool. It's a good it's a good move. Got that rapid jab. A B. Not getting the follow up off of it. Evie's just kind of throwing aerials in Zyro's face, but he's staying out of the range and getting ready with punish. Hmm. Dash attack, nice. Oh, I think that was a not a miss input, but a miss landing. I think he was aiming to just hit Game and Watch, but just went right for the hammer. I would agree. And for a moment there, I thought Evie was throwing. Like I didn't think she'd be able to make it back. That up B, and then she air dodged the ledge. Of that wow, mm -hmm. mind game. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, okay. I forgot air dodge. Ooh. Giving me a heart attack every time she does. Oh, mistimed that. But good re recovery from uh, Fox. Uh, sorry, I was going to say hunger. Zyro. <laughs> just force a habit. But man, avoiding that. You know, if, if every hard commits to an option like that, you don't really have much of a risk recovering high there. That's true. Oh, a nice catch with the Nair. It's like she's looking for a drag down Nair into down smash or something. Okay, smash. another up smash kill. Very good. It's a good song, eh? I am a big fan. Me too. Earth, oh, yeah. that's, that, that is, pe that is pe Game & Watch, that is Game & Watch. I, I was studying the Game & Watch matchup in the event I had to fight Peach Fuzz, and I noticed a lot of Game & Watches up smash and just forward tilt after. Cause it's minus six on shield. What are they gonna do? Forward tilt super quick. Like, you gotta keep holding shield because you know the forward tilt's gonna come. I just love it's a chair. It's a chair. Aside from the, all the uh, specifics about the frame data, which is also crazy, might I add. That's yeah. nuts. That that's that fast. Oh, sorry. I meant the up smash is minus six on shield. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. So not many people can punish it. Oh, nice. But that's not gonna do it because Fox's back air is not as powerful as it looks, but it's still pretty powerful. Yeah, actually, that was like the old Zyro kill. Up tilt, back air at ledge. Yeah. Hey, do you remember when Fox's up tilt could two frame? <laughs> yep. <laughs> what was that all about? <laughs> I used, to, like, I used to just watch, remember Zyro just used to do it on Hunger, and like Hunger's also an amazing Fox player, and he's like, yeah. <laughs> It's kind of funny. It was. Some distant memories, but the back are going to take it, and uh, Zyro goes up 1-0. That was almost like a Dragon Ball Z finish. Almost. Except for the fact that Game & Watch's back air is a multi-hit, and Evie, Evie didn't get the chance to do the strong hit. Oh, yes. That makes sense. But even if she did, I don't think it would have killed, probably, from that point. No, I think Zara was too low in percent. Mm hmm Okay, what do we... Oh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Ladies and gentlemen, Sonic the Hedgehog. Chrome! Well, as long as it's not Sonic Wi-Fi. That's true. Sonic the Hedgehog is an undeniable top tier on Wi-Fi, but this game is more manageable offline. Chrom, ooh. See. Yeah, that's a, there. a very fast, very fast swordsman against a very fast hedgehog. Indeed. Though quite an odd matchup. Now, Krom's seen many odd things in his travels, but I don't think he's ever seen a sentient hedgehog like the, or not sentient hedgehog, but one like this, humanoid. <laughs> um, but one thing. That's fair. Ah, uh, you know, Sonic, he likes his circle camping. He likes to get his lead and just run away. Now, um, one thing about Krom, though, is he can kill you at zero if he feels like it and if you fall for his bait. That's true. I oh. My Krom, I would just camp at ledge and make people... Oh, very clean chair. 
Yeah, I was uh, I was a victim of uh, getting spiked by the up beat. <laughs> sorry, sorry, but you know I had to. Oh no no, it's it's all for learning experience for sure, man. Do you ever see a Krom just doing that junk at ledge? Just just stay back. It's not worth engaging. Oh, nice armor. Ooh. Okay, nice F tilts. Is that gonna get it? That. Oh, oh. stuck under the iceberg. Very unfortunate. And even still, Evie didn't turn it around, so uh, Krom wouldn't have grabbed the ledge, unfortunately. All right. Not getting a follow-up off the down throw, unfortunately. Whew. Okay. Sliding up tilt. Very good. You know, I'm actually surprised, like, because, you know, sometimes when people pick Sonic, it's just for a joke. They're like, look at me, I'm Sonic. I'm going to hit you, then run away. But Zyro's actually engaging Evie, and it's... It's pretty cool to watch, actually, you know, when Sonic it, played like this. He's a good Sonic player. Mm -hmm. Oh, Me Memory serves me right. He was like a mod in the Sonic Discord uh, uh, during Smash 4. I think so, yeah. Yeah, he knew quite a bit about this character. Oh. Okay, what do we got? Oh, down airing off the spring. Can we get a Jer? Nice connection with that up B. Yo, just Ooh. run up F smash. I I think I'm I'm of the opinion that Krom's forward smash is a little underused. But in this current match or just in general in the meta? In general in the meta. Okay. I, I think it's deceptively good. Like it, you can combo off of jab into that forward smash at some percents. Oh, that's kinda cool. Mm-hmm. Oh. Man, Evie is timing these armored up Bs well. She is. It's almost a it, it, oh, good back throw back air. She has a very... Well, I mean, I think Krom's just a Fundamentals character, but there are some things that are very Krom-specific that you need to know, like Jer and um, spacing your up B properly. So you say, like, I don't know, you're fighting someone with a counter. They can't just cheese you. you there's a very precise timing where you can throw the up B and recover without getting gimped by a counter. Oh, okay. Super tight, though. All right. Not getting the gimp. Yeah, you're right. She's just timing the uh, armor perfectly. Yeah, I think it's been literally every single one. Oh, wow. Now that was... Oh. Ooh. And that was Sonic Prom. He can just kick him in the face during the up B. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. All right, Duck, here we are on potentially the last game of the tournament. Who do you think are we going to see right here? I'm thinking... I'm thinking Taylor's going to pick someone new. Yeah. And I think Evie might go we fit. That's my I, guess. I think that's a fair assessment. It's just, I think it all depends on how Evie's feeling. If she wants to bring this back, then yeah, I, I expect the we fit. But if she's just in it for the, you know, just for the laughs, they might honestly just random ditto or something for all I know. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's find out. Hmm, I'm really not sure who to pick. Hmm. You can tell by their moving masks that they're having a conversation. Maybe we could uh, we could dream for the duck hunt ditto, but I doubt that's gonna happen. Oh, that would be a phenomenal. Uh oh, man, no duck hunt ditto. Very unfortunate. But Captain Falcon, Donkey Kong, the original bruisers from Smash 64. Here they are. Now our guy Captain Falcon has gotten some bu uh, some pretty nice buffs uh, not too long ago. That's true. Oh, I know what Zara was trying to do there. If you burn your jump after the cargo throw off stage, uh, if Donkey Kong's aware of this, he can just jump forward air and you just die. Oh shit! Really? Yeah. So Evie, most likely aware of that, just save her jump. But it's also just a good fundamental to not burn your jump at a disadvantage. Hmm. Oh. Uh oh. Nice tech. Also, what's like uh. Who's better in this matchup, DK or Falcon? That's a good question. Um, because you know normally people would say Falcon's a better character than DK, but in the head-to-head, -head, it's like Falcon has to engage DK, and DK's got a nice disjoint with his back air. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean it's probably pretty easy to edge guard, but the on-stage game, though, I think it might be an even matchup. Maybe. It's like DK is definitely oh nice fair. DK's definitely combo food for Falcon on stage. 
he is, but he can also live a very long time and get rage. And if he does the giant punch, oh. Falcon could die pretty early. <laughs> that's true. Oh. See, that's what that's the problem with heavies. Or not the problem, a benefit of heavies is sure they're combo food, but they're built so heavy and they they have usually have really powerful moves, so they just get to live a long time and abuse the rage with that and mm -hmm. Oh, another knee from Evie? Wow. Oh. This is a... Oh, uh-oh. You know how many Elite Smash Donkey Kongs have done that to me? <laughs> At least two? <laughs> More. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Potentially the last stock of the tournament. All right. Raptor Juice not getting a follow-up. Burning her jump, but not going to catch her. I'm through there. Spot dodge. If he did the spot dodge up B, I'm sorry. That just looks really silly. Oh, interesting. Not going for the fair instead of just a nair. Probably just wanted safer dam- Uh, don't jump. Oh. Is the back air? Evie. Careful. Oh my god. You it's too- so <laughs> It's so stressful. That's- Yeah, there's no way to come back from that. Oh, oh, you did not need to do that, but he did it. The old downhill. I mean, down air. <laughs> downhill. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. That was...